Hi Ark fans, welcome to Ark Invest Daily, your daily dose of Ark information. This episode is all about what did they do last week, a weekly summary, a highlight of biggest moves, how did the market value change over past uh, week and also are there any new or removed companies. And then we'll also keep an eye on our regular watch list of these four stocks, uh, Nano Dimension, Palantir, DraftKings and Scales, just to keep an eye on uh, how did they trade these four in past week as well. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back friends. Uh, so this is a weekly episode. So the date range selected is just past one week. And as you can see, they started the week with 43.07 billion ending in 41.94 billion. So it's a net negative, even though the last day was a little bit positive there, but overall net negative. Uh, this is how 41.94 billion uh, is divided in all these eight ETFs that they have. Uh, I will click on each one of them and you can uh, see how the trend goes for them. So when I click on RK, trend changes to show the market value trend of RK uh, again down uh, our genomics down again you have our W down but not as much as the first two then our fintech down again our Q was also down our X is down print and Israel also down so those that's the that's the market value trend for all of these in terms of number of companies they are invested in uh, we have increase in uh, the number of companies from 288 to 289 just one company added to the portfolio during last week this is how each of the ETF um, basically Israel has the maximum number of companies in in that ETF um, even though it's the lowest in value so that's uh, that's the distribution of companies and some companies obviously are present in multiple ETFs so when you sum these up it won't add up to 289 this is distinct count unique count of companies all right let's go over the biggest moves quickly so today our threshold for percentage of shares movement is 10 percent so any company whose shares were added or removed more than 10 percent uh, is uh, gonna be featured here these are the companies that fit that criteria this is their rank in 289 companies uh, so at the top of the list is genius sports where they added 195 percent extra shares 666,000 shares um, not a big change in market value though, 11.4 million there. SEMA for um, holdings Corp, 22% shares added, Life person 21 shares, 21%. Uh, Mark Forge, 19% extra shares added last week. And then you have Farfetch, Roblox, and Aerovironment. Uh, biggest in these is this guy, Roblox, because the market value also, also oh, stock price also climbed a little bit upward last week as you can see in the trend that pops up uh, in terms of negative we have ping and health 100 uh, percent almost 100 percent removed this is a rounded value so it's on the verge of getting removed completely it's at the low end of their um investment anyways 287 uh, you have 30.7 uh, million difference there then you have serpera 45 percent removed byru 44 percent removed airbus 33 percent removed mgi 26 percent removed roche 23 percent uh, Exxon 17% remove, region runs 11% and Robo, uh, Robo Group 10% remove. The biggest one being this guy Roche Holdings um, followed by Baidu and Ping and Health. Ping and Health and then followed by Baidu. So those are the biggest moves by percentage of shares. Let's change this threshold to zero just to see what are the biggest moves in terms of uh, stock price because uh, in terms of market value because that could be big. That could be just because the stock price went up, right? uh well 30 million let's keep that as a threshold there are there is hardly any positive there all of them are negative looks like um and then uh, two simple is the biggest winner looks like 45.8 million positive even though they added just five percent shares when i hover over it stock price went up a little bit and they added some shares as well and combined effect is 45.8 million positive the biggest negative is fate therapeutics even though they added three percent shares uh, stock price dipped and hence it's gone down uh, Shopify um, 76 negative Tesla 70 negative stock price movement all of them as you can see there's hardly there's not much change in the shares DocuSign as well um, so you have uh, a stock price uh, kind of same not down by that much and they removed some shares that's why Roku 10x genomics no change here in the shares but market value going down because stock price going down and similar story for the rest of them as well so those were the biggest moves let's take a look at overall portfolio how it looks for past uh, week so if you do a diff from monday to friday this is the this is how it looks uh, faith therapeutics being red as red and two simple holdings being green as green spotify tesla red so 
yeah, that's the overall picture. New and removed companies. So Pfizer is the new company that was added in Arc Genomics. Vico AB and Cellink AB show up as new and removed company, but it is actually one and one and the same company. So the ticker symbol changed, and hence it looks like as if it's a new company. So Pfizer is the only new company that was added. Daily watch list. Uh, so as you know, we keep an eye on these four. So if you do a diff from uh, Monday to Friday, this is how it looks. Uh, they removed 1.3% shares of DraftKings, which is 187,000, 16 million difference in market value. And uh, it's actually stock price also went down a little bit. So combined effect of those two. Palantir, 3% added actually. So 1.1 million shares added, uh, positive $9.3 million there. Stock price for this week is down by 50 cents, as you can see in the trend there, present in all the six ETFs. Skills also 1.3% removed. Um, and then nano dimension 1.1% removed. So DraftKings skills and nano dimension a little bit removed, but that's more like adjustment I would say rather than trading. Palantir on the other hand is 3%, which is substantial. 1 million shares um, on the positive side. So yeah, 9.3 million difference in the value even though the stock price went down. So if I click on Palantir, let's double click on that and see the trends. This is past week's trend where they added a lot of shares. Let's see to which ETF did they add. Um, so looks like they started with 26.325 so they reduced in this uh, it's kind of maintained this one added in RKF so RKF is the main one where they added a lot more um, rest of them is kind of same yeah RKF is where they added the most for Palantir so that's that alright so that was your weekly summary guys uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow thanks